Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are uh, taking a little detour to explore some concepts that will help us understand multiplication a little bit better. I'm in our math journal. Uh, we're in unit four, lesson five, how many dollar bills? And as you can see, I am filming this old school instead of using my uh, uh, whiteboard app uh, because the task requires some physical manipulation of some manipulatives. If you read the text on page 117, how many dollar bills? It says, this picture of a dollar bill is about the same size as an actual dollar bill. All United States bills are the same size in weight. And as you can see, that statement is true because I have a real dollar bill that I took out of my wallet and lining it up with the picture, it is approximately the same size. Okay, maybe off by maybe a, a fraction of a millimeter here, okay? So the question asks, how many bills does it take to cover your book? And by book, they mean your math journal. It says, make a sketch to show how to arrange the bills. Now, before you make a sketch, maybe you ought to try this out. So the idea here is, how many of these would it take to cover up the surface of uh, a math journal, okay? Now, there's two ways I could go about doing it, okay? I could either take my $1 bill and just kind of play around with the layout uh, and f try to figure out how many bills it would take to cover and just kind of mentally picture it, okay? Or I can get a bunch of dollar bills uh, and see how many I can use to cover the surface, okay? Now, it just so happens that the uh, American currency $1 bill is about the same size as this funny money that uh, teachers utilize in class when we're teaching about money skills, okay? And I have a bunch of these, so I'm going to use my, my fake money to cover up my cover. So I have one here, and I'm going to just lay out some bills, so two, three, Four, and maybe I can put some in sideways. Okay. It is looking like it would be about six. There's a little overlap here, but about six. Okay. But the question says, how many bills does it take to cover up your book? And to completely cover up, it would take six. Now, let me reconfigure that and see if there's a different way I can come up with that answer. So maybe if I did them all sideways like this, it would be about the same amount. Okay, so about six. Okay? So in my book, it says, make a sketch to show how to arrange the bills. Okay? So, and again, I'm just going to draw this freehand. I'll do this in pen so it's easier for you to see. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle, okay? And as you can see, I could lay out the bills like so, or I can draw another rectangle. And I can draw how I arranged them in the first place, which was four bills uh, side to side or up and or stacked on each other and then two along the side so one two three four and then I can put a little label to form my diagram that's the overlap Okay, so these are my two strategies for covering up the surface of my math journal with dollar bills. Okay, more or less it takes six of them. Okay, so then the question asks pretend that the pages in your book are made of five dollar bills. How much money would you have? Show how you would know. Okay. Well, I have six $1 bills right here, okay? Now, if I had six 
five dollar bills covering up this notebook to figure out my value okay all I would have to do is multiply six bills by five dollars so for every bill that's covering up my notebook that would be worth five so if I wrote in five 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 in each of these bills that's six groups of five six times five of course gives me thirty okay so I multiplied the number of bills by five dollars okay and that's pretty much how you would solve that problem here okay now the bigger question here is why why did I go through the trouble of doing this okay well when we are thinking about area okay covering up a space you know I might not be covering up a notebook with dollar bills but I might want to know how many ceramic tiles I need to use to cover up uh, the floor of my uh, kitchen or I might be thinking about quilting and I want to know how many one foot uh, square pieces of fabric I need to create a, a, a blanket quilt that would cover up a queen size bed okay or I might be planning out my classroom for the next quarter where I wanted I have so many desks I have 30 desks and I have a, an area of my room where I got to give each student their amount of personal space how am I going to configure those desks okay and I'm using multiplication to help me uh, figure out uh, the totals okay so if I had six groups of one dollar bills, that'd be six bucks. If I have six groups of five dollar bills, I have thirty dollars. But let's say instead of dollar bills covering up a notebook, I want to figure out allowance. Maybe instead of bills covering up a notebook, I want to know how much money am I going to earn if I have a five dollar a week allowance and I want to save up uh, for a new video game. Okay. How much money will I have after six weeks of emptying out the trash and making my bed and uh, picking up after my dog? Okay, so these multiplication skills can be applied across many uh, platforms and for many reasons, which is one of the reasons why we practice. Okay, one of the things I often tell my students is math is money. Okay, we can apply uh, the concept of money to any math skill or uh, math uh, uh, chore that we have to do uh, throughout the course of our studies okay every standard can be applied to how can this uh, be applied to money okay so take a moment to look at the surface area of your notebook practice what I did and then uh, uh, you and your math teacher will take this information and take it one step further apply it to some larger uh, concepts as we've been doing we've been studying larger digit multiplication these little steps are going to help us understand bigger concepts and multi-step problems okay until we meet again have a good day thanks